Hi, my loves. This is Feminine Dark Skin, and I am back with another video. I'm doing this video today because lately I have been hearing that competition, specifically that the concept of competition itself is unladylike, unfeminine, and that it completely destroys your femininity. So we should not as black women, as a collective, not participate in competition, like, ever. And for me, that message is a little misleading. I don't find that message to be true. I think that message is completely dishonest, and I feel like it is a very problematic message to be spreading, especially right now with leveling up and femininity messages being spread across um, the black woman, dark skinned woman, and girl community. So, if you want to hear more about my thoughts and opinions on this, please keep listening and please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to this video. So, here we go. The first thing I need black women and dark skinned women and girls to understand is that competition itself is natural, it is a natural human thing. Everyone competes and everyone is competing with themselves and with each other to become better um, and just overall in life. You know, humans compete for attention, whether you want to admit it or not. Validation, we compete for that. Um, jobs and opportunities, you know, when you're applying for jobs or an internship or schooling going to college, you are competing with other candidates, you compete for scholarships, you compete for real estate, buying houses. The point is, we as humans compete, and it has always been that way. So for me to tell Black women that they shouldn't engage in competition is invalid, because even if we actively engage or not, we are still competing, okay? Other races of women are competing with us, whether we say we are competing or not. So I want us to understand that and keep that in mind and be ready to um, utilize that to our advantage, that we are in a competition, so to speak. Um, we need to understand that not all competition is evil or bad. Healthy competition allows for growth, personal growth specifically, and it provides an opportunity for you to learn things about yourself that you didn't know before or learn things that you could do and accomplish that you didn't know you could do before, okay? Healthy competition is a means for self-improvement, and if you are not constantly improving, then you are stagnant, and that's not what we want in our level up journey journeys, excuse me, in our level, level up journeys, we are trying to improve, we are always trying to become the best version of ourselves, and we cannot do that if we are stagnant, being still, okay, that's not cute, being stagnant is not cute, there is nothing wrong with using someone else's accomplishments or lifestyle to motivate you to do better, that is not unladylike or unfeminine, OK, one of the major reasons black women and dark skinned women and girls are trying to tap into their femininity is to level up, to self-improve. Right. So in order to do that, we have to jump in the game. We have to jump in the competition. We have to play the game. OK, we need to understand that to improve our image and reputation in the eyes of others and the media, we are going to have to compete. Like I said, other races of women are competing with us in the media, um, in relationships, for jobs, for their image. So we are going to have to jump in the game if we want things to change. Not saying that everything's going to change overnight, but as a collective, if we push behind the change we want to see, yes, things are going to happen. Things are already happening just by a small few of us making noise. So if a collective, if the collective of black women, dark skin women and girls start making noise, it's game over, okay? And lastly, we need to understand that the problem of competition comes in when we start to sabotage others for personal gain 
We obsess over others and constantly compare ourselves to others to our own detriment, which Black women, we do a lot. Not saying that that's our fault. You know, we've had to deal with images of women who don't look like us, of messages of people putting us down and constantly comparing us to other races of women. So it just kind of happens unconsciously. We just unconsciously do it. Um, So when we let competition take us out of our character or causes us to lower our self-esteem, that is when competition becomes toxic and unfeminine. And that is when we need to step into our masculine to survive. Because when someone's constantly attacking you, that's not an environment for you to be feminine. You know, you're going to want to put your dukes up. You're going to want to go into protective mode. You're going to want to step into your masculine energy. And that is when competition becomes toxic, unladylike, and unfeminine. Okay, we need to understand the differences between healthy competition and toxic competition. We can't just rule out competition altogether. That's not the world we live in. That's not how it works. So, ladies, I want you to take away from this video that we do not live in a fairy tale land, no matter how people try to paint the picture. We need to be living in reality if we truly want to level up. We need to use the system and the media to our advantage. Okay, we need to be strategic about the way we move. Competition is real and it is constantly happening around us and to us. Also, just because you claim that you are not competing with anyone but yourself, does not mean that other people and other races of women are not competing with you. Please remember that because they are always competing with you. And you've seen examples time and time again of how they make it known that they are competing with you. Listen to the rhetoric they use when they're speaking about black women, dark skinned women and girls. When they talk about black men, when they talk about their image and their looks, it's a competition to them. It's all a part of the game, ladies, and we need to understand that and play the game to win. So that's all my thoughts on this competition topic. I just wanted to let it be known that competition is real and it does happen and you can't just ignore it if you want to truly level up and improve your reputation, improve your image as a dark-skinned black woman, as a dark-skinned black girl okay we need to be realistic about these things um please make sure again to like comment and subscribe please let me know down in the comment section what your ideas are about competition how you feel and any suggestions or ideas about what videos you want to see thank you so much for listening and i will see you in the next video Bye bye